I've been loving water actually. Can I put that in my favorites? Just like water. I've been drinking so much water lately. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be filming a November favorites video and I think the last time I filmed a monthly favorites was in March of this year. So it's definitely been quite some time, but I have been absolutely loving all the things that I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video this entire month. And I have things ranging from hair care to skincare to makeup to like miscellaneous things and clothes and everything. The reason that I don't really film favorites that often is because I'm not really trying new things every single month are just like not enough things to be able to put in a monthly favorites every single month and i don't want to share them with you guys unless i'm like absolutely obsessed if you know what i mean but if you guys do like when i do monthly favorites then let me know down below and maybe i'll incorporate them more into 2019 but if you guys haven't been keeping up with my videos then you probably wouldn't know that i actually am going to be doing vlogmas this year which i'm really excited about because i've always wanted to do vlogmas but I'm also a little bit nervous because I've never posted every single day before, let alone for like a whole month. I think the most that I've ever posted in a week was like five times and that was even a lot for me, but I'm challenging myself. I love vlogging for you guys and I think you guys like them too. So if you're not subscribed already, then definitely be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on Vlogmas and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to see what I've been loving this month, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys, I actually haven't been trying out for that long, but I've tried it out enough to know that I'm like already obsessed. So I did kind of go Black Friday shopping, not enough to do like a full haul for you guys. But one of the things that I did it from Sephora, which one of my friends who actually works at Sephora ended up showing to me is this amazing deal on Clarisonic. This was such a steal. So you actually get a radiance foaming cleanser and a Radiance brush head. Originally, the price of this is $48, and then they put it down to $29, and then on Black Friday, I actually ended up getting it for $15, and I got a full-size cleansing milk, as well as a brush head. This one is actually called the Radiance Foaming Milk Cleanser, and it is skin illuminating, which I can definitely see, and it smells so good. I think one of the first things I noticed about this is the smell. It just smells so clean. And then this is the brush head that comes with it, which is the Daily Radiance brush head. And the box really didn't have that much instructions on it, but I remember her telling me that the brush illuminates your skin and also minimizes pores, which I absolutely love because anything that's like pore minimizing, I'm like obsessed with. It has two different kind of like layers, I guess. So the inside is just like a really soft brush head. And then on the outside, it's a bit stiffer because these pink bristles are actually kind of like plastic rubber bristles, which I was kind of worried about because I felt like maybe it was going to be a little bit too harsh on my skin, but it's really not at all. Like it feels so nice. And the way that the brush head is shaped, I feel like it just like grabs onto my skin and like it gets into every single crevice and area and like you can just feel a difference when you're using this one I don't really know how to explain but it's so good you have to try it to really feel the difference and once you do I promise you'll notice a big difference so the next two things that I'm gonna show you guys I actually am basically out of that's how much I've been loving them I haven't just been loving them this month I've been using them for a few months in a row um, hence why they're basically empty this one's empty and this one still has a little bit left but I have never been so obsessed with the shampoo and conditioner before. I got these in my Beautycon bag when I went to Beautycon LA this past year. And when I first opened these, I didn't really think they smelled that good. I don't know why. Like when I first like smelled it out of the bottle, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this. Like it wasn't really like my scent. But when you use these on your hair, your hair smells so, so good. Like the best ever. I just wanna like, wash my hair 24 7 because i'm so obsessed with the scent so these are both from aveda this is the shampoo and the conditioner and it is the cherry almond softening shampoo and it's a sweet floral aroma and it really is softening my hair feels so soft every single time after i use this i feel like it also reduces frizz because when i use this one as opposed to some of my other shampoos because sometimes i like to alternate to see if it's really making a difference i feel like this one definitely reduces frizz much more than my other shampoos and 
and I just love them. They're so good. So if you're looking for a good shampoo and conditioner, I know these are a bit on the pricier side, but I definitely think they're worth it. So my next favorite kind of pains me to say, I'm not gonna lie, because I've always like been such a fan of like drugstore things that I feel like are so comparable to high end. And you know, like those products that like you just don't wanna spend that much money on because you have to replace them so often. This has always been one of those things. And I was really hoping that I wasn't gonna like it as much as I do, but I'm literally hooked and I think I'm gonna be repurchasing from now on. I got back on to trying the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil and I actually ended up getting it in the shade Caramel this time. And I have been using it nonstop since I got it, like every single time I do my makeup. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it actually has lasted me quite some time. I think the reason I used to go through these so often is because I used to fill in my brows so heavily. I know to some of you this still might be a really really heavy and like not natural brow but these are much more natural than I used to do them and I used to run out of these like hotcakes like left and right. I used to have to repurchase these like every two weeks or something crazy like that. So I ended up switching over to the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I don't like about that one as opposed to this one, which is gonna sound a little bit odd. So the Maybelline Brow Precise is super creamy. When you barely touch your skin, it immediately like deposits a ton of pigmented color. And I have came to find that I actually like pencils that are a harder consistency. I actually heard Roxette Arisa um, say this in her past favorites video, and it totally resonated with me because I didn't realize that that was what I liked so much more about this pencil as opposed to the Maybelline one. This pencil actually is a lot harder and it's a lot harder to deposit a lot of color. It's not necessarily less pigmented, but it takes like a harder pressure and more brow strokes to be able to get a really, really dark brow. And with this one, I feel like it, since it applies so lightly and it's not as intense, I can create those brow strokes a lot easier when a brow pencil is creamier when you brush through with the spoolie on this side which I like to do to make my brows not as intense when I'll brush through them with the Maybelline one the brow strokes that I just created will kind of mesh together and the way she explained it is that it kind of looks a bit more cakey which I totally agree with so if you do want to be able to create brow strokes easier and create a more natural natural brow then i would recommend going for a brow pencil with a harder consistency that's not as creamy and applies a lot lighter so the next thing that i have been loving is a foundation and i have been trying so many new foundations lately i don't know why i've been on such a foundation kick but the one that I've been loving this month is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've heard so many amazing things about this foundation and I haven't tried it until recently. And now it's kind of my go-to. I'm not wearing it today. My self-tan is kind of wearing down, so I'm not exactly tan enough for this one at the moment. But when I am self-tanned, this is always the foundation I wear. I feel like it lasts the longest on me. It's going to be like my go-to travel foundation. Um, it is in a glass container, but it is super duper small. So it is nice to travel with. But in case you guys are wondering, I am in the shade 2W2 Rattan, and if you're looking for a good heavy duty natural finish foundation that is going to last you all day, then I definitely recommend this one. The next thing that I have been loving is a pair of lashes, and I have had these lashes for months, and these are my go-to lashes. I've been wearing them non-stop. I swear to you, I haven't gotten a new pair since they sent these to me. Esquito was nice enough to send me this pair along with three others. And I have been nonstop wearing these and trying to get the most use out of them. But I'm gonna knock on wood because I feel like these are just like never going bad. I've worn them so many times, which is probably a little bit disgusting, but like I take really good care of my lashes, I feel like I'm always like maintaining them and cleaning them and stuff. They don't lose their shape. When you try to rip off the glue, the band isn't ripping off, which I've had that problem with so many different lashes, but these have been so strong. So these are the Esquito lashes in the style Celestial, and this is what they look like. They are a little bit more flared out towards the end, which I have been really, really loving lately. And I feel like these lashes are just so perfect for any look because they're not too, too over the top dramatic, but they still give like that flirt 
flirty vibe since they like wink out towards the end. So I've been really loving these and the fact that they last for so long is definitely a plus. I believe I do have a discount code with them. I don't remember at the moment, but I will have it in my description down below in case you guys are interested. And the last makeup favorite I just had to include in today's video, I do plan on doing like a top five favorite nude lipsticks video or maybe even 10, I haven't really decided yet, but I actually did just order like a few more pairs of nude lipsticks when Kylie had her Black Friday sale and I feel like I'm really gonna be loving those. So I'm gonna hold off on that video until I try those lipsticks to see if those become like some of my favorites as well. But this one is definitely going to be in that video, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you guys today anyway because I'm obsessed with it. So this is my first ever dose of colors liquid lipstick and I love the consistency, I love the formula and the reason that I picked up this lipstick is because of that XO here on YouTube always wears like the most perfect nude lipstick. So I went ahead and asked her what nude lipstick she's been wearing and she said it was this one. It's the Dose of Colors Knock on Wood lipstick and I'm actually wearing it today. It looks a little bit different on me today because again my self tan is wearing off but when I'm freshly self tanned it's like fully nude which i love so if you guys like that as well and you're similar skin tone to me i definitely recommend checking it out if you guys haven't already they do sell those of colors at ulta now so it was super easy to pick it up and it's definitely one of my go-to's now so my next few favorites are actually clothing favorites technically the first one is a clothing favorite and the second one is kind of like a clothing trend that I've been obsessed with. So the first thing you guys probably already know I'm obsessed with if you guys watch my Boohoo try on haul that I filmed like around two weeks ago, I believe. This coat is so cute. If you guys know, I said cute to describe this coat like five billion times and I'm probably gonna do it again because it's just, it's so cute. Like I have no other word to describe it. I really need to figure out like more words in my vocabulary to describe clothing, but I feel like it's just like the go-to word that everybody uses. So this is a teddy coat that I did get from Boohoo. They did actually send this to me and it's basically just like this big fluffy like teddy coat. It literally looks like a teddy bear coat. It's like the perfect description and it zips up in the front and it just goes with everything. It's finally starting to get colder here in Florida, which I'm so happy about. I love the cold weather and anytime I have an outfit where I need to put a coat over top of it, this has been literally my go-to. I did get mine in the tall version because I actually didn't have the normal size, but I am around 5'3". In case you guys are curious to see how it would fit on you compared to me, I'm not actually going to try it on, but if you guys want to see me wear this along with the next few things I'm going to show you guys, then head back to my clothing haul that I did with Boohoo a couple weeks ago. I'll have it linked down below and up here as well so you guys can watch that and see what they look like on. And there's actually a pretty popular coat like this that has been going around it's actually called the pixie coat from IMG and this one's super similar and a lot more affordable so I will have it linked down below for you guys in case you guys are interested so like I said the next few things I'm gonna show you guys aren't necessarily like favorites it's more of like an overall trend favorite so I've actually been loving snake prints you guys would know this if you guys watched my haul again and I did try these on in that haul as well but I've been loving snake print animal print just like cheetah print any kind of animal print in general I've been obsessed with I feel like it's such a good statement to make but it's also like not too over the top if you know what I mean so this first one as an option that I've been loving that I'm gonna show you guys is this bodysuit it's a snake print bodysuit and I love bodysuits so I've been wearing that one I've already worn this one I think like three or four times which is a little bit excessive but I'm obsessed with it and then I also have this mini dress and I also have a midi dress so this one is a bit longer it goes past my knee but they're all like different styles of snake print which I I really really like there's like a ton of different snake print and cheetah print styles and it's super fun to style snake print I see people wear it with a jean jacket or a leather jacket and you can just like dress it up or dress it down so many different ways so I definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't already so the last favorite that I have to show you guys is kind of a random favorite but I had to throw it in here because I've been using it literally every single night and I'm almost out of it which is really sad but I'm definitely gonna be picking up another one so it is the this aromatherapy lavender relax candle from Bath and Body Works it's actually lavender and cedarwood and it's infused with natural essential oils I actually did run out of my lavender essential 
essential oil so I've been using this instead and it just smells so good I always burn it at night before I go to sleep because I have such a hard time sleeping at night it's like a really big problem and this has definitely been kind of helping me it's not like completely resolving my sleep problem but I definitely feel like it makes me a little bit more relaxed before going to bed and on top of it all it just smells so good so if you guys haven't tried lavender essential oils or like lavender candles in general like anything lavender scented before going to bed I definitely recommend it so that is it for my November favorites video I hope you guys did enjoy and found some things that you guys might be interested in trying if you guys have any products that you guys have been loving for the month of November then please let me know down below I love knowing what you guys are trying and loving so maybe I can try them as well also again before you guys go don't forget to make sure to turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss vlogmas this year but thank you guys so much for watching this video again thank you so much for supporting me i love you guys so much and i hope to see you guys next time